My food shopping is just out of control. I mean, budgeting, it just doesn't exist. And I only buy branded products. But that is about to change. For the next seven days, I'll be in only Asda's Just Essentials range. But first, as we only ever buy like random little shops, I have no idea how much we spend on food. I'm making a meal plan for this week, including three meals a day and adding it all up to see how much I would be spending with my current spending habits. Whoa, 113 pound for a week. That is wild. Well, that's where my money's going. I'm off to Asda. I'm gonna buy everything from the meal plan, but this time only buying from Asda's Just Essentials range. I wanna find out how much money I can save, but also, is the food actually any good? This isn't off to a very good start, is it? There's no smart price bread. I mean, we've got our first purchase of the day. We've got some whole meal bread. We'd usually get that, and that's about £1.25, and this is only 70p, so winning. So they do do a smart price mayo, but they don't have any left. So I'm gonna get as does I. 95 p. Can't seem to find smart price stuff anywhere. If this is actually any good, that's crazy. This is actually six times cheaper than this. I've got to be honest. I don't have the highest hopes for this. <laughs> 39 p. 155. I knew it'd be a lot cheaper, but I didn't know how cheap it would be, and I think that's crazy. And I'm actually really hoping that I love everything, because I will be so rich from now on. Ugh. We gave Smart Price a go, because we want to see how much it would be for a whole shop, and see if we like anything to incorporate it into our... I actually can't believe how much that just cost. Do you know what? I got talking to that lady, at the checkout, she said her dad did the same thing. He did it for two weeks though, and he couldn't taste the difference between most things, so hopefully, it's my story. Walking around with a trolley full of smart price things was so stressful. I felt so embarrassed. Even when I got to the checkout and I was talking to the lady, I almost felt like I had to explain myself, because I don't know if she was looking at me differently, but I genuinely felt like she was looking at me like, oh, bless her, she hasn't got any money. 37 pounds and one pence this shop came to. Are you absolutely joking? I actually found that there wasn't a lot of smart price things. Even when there was a smart price option, a lot of the times it was sold out. So maybe that just means a lot more people are actually turning to smart price. On the drive home, I just kept thinking about the fact that I was embarrassed in the shop. It really did catch me off guard because it's not like I was a stranger to economy food. I grew up in a house with, you know, five other people. We didn't have much money. So economy, we had all the time. And it was perfectly fine and we didn't know any different. I think as I've gotten older, I've just kind of like switched everything out for expensive food. And probably not even for the taste, probably just for how it makes me feel having more expensive things. It will be interesting to see if I've turned into a total food snob this week. I said, how can you get gravy wrong? Good morning. I'm starting today off with probably the riskiest item on the list, but I definitely need a coffee right now. So I'm gonna give it a go and I'm also gonna make some toast. All right, let's have a go. Mm. It is a lot thinner though. It's literally like a wafer. I usually buy coffee that I think is about £5.50 to £7, and this was 75p. Is there that much of a taste difference to justify the big difference in price? Oh my God, that's so nice. That's so nice. I thought I would try it and be like, oh, no, but honestly, I could switch to this coffee. After breakfast being a big success, there was lunch. I can't really taste the ham, but the cheese is so creamy. And dinner. That's actually so nice. My girlfriend just had her lasagna just before me. We usually get the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference ones for four pounds. And she's just said that she actually can't tell the difference. And that's crazy, because this is only 90p. Throughout the week, some things were spot on. That is so good. Some just okay. Some that needed a little extra help. And some that were unforgivable. No. But what was the final outcome? 
Was it worth switching to economy food? And yes, this is still smart price coffee. I have a feeling we're going to be friends for a very, very long time. Right, let's have a chat about this week. So as you know, the total food shop came to £37.81p. But for full transparency, I need to make some adjustments. Some things I just totally forgot to get and some things they just didn't have. I'll also be taking off £1.50 because when I wasn't looking, my girlfriend decided to sneak in some chocolate. With all the adjustments made, this shop would have come to £39.54p. So it's not much difference at all and I still cannot believe that that is the total figure. So out of the 39 items in this shop, only eight I wasn't a fan of. As in wouldn't buy again, didn't like it, total waste of money. I'm blown away by that because I genuinely would have thought it would be roughly half, if not more. These items were the sausages, the garlic bread. I mean, you, you could have just called it bread because there was no garlic. The cheese and bean bakes, fish fingers, tasted like nothing, so did the ham. Then there was the chocolate. This cheap chocolate was the worst cheap chocolate ever. We didn't even finish the bar. And then the two things that I feel like I made the biggest fuss about in the shop both let me down, man. That spaghetti sauce, it's one of them cases where you get what you pay for. It tasted like absolute nothing. And the other thing was the gravy. I think I joked earlier about like, how can you get gravy wrong? I don't know how they managed it, but they, they did it. It was so lumpy and weird and it was so salty. Everything else I could happily replace or preferred. Some of the things I could happily replace, the cookies. They definitely taste burnt, but they're actually yeah. really nice. Yeah, just the bird back. Mm. And the chef went, Mm -hmm. I think I ate them pretty much in one sitting. Isn't pasta just pasta? Well, from what we tasted anyway, it was just the same as anything we'd ever had. The fish pie was great. £1.35, tasted nice, added a bit of cheese, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. I feel like I went on about the cheese and on about the cheese and on about the cheese. This might be classed as cheating because look, seriously, the pizza does need some help. In the same breath, I did buy this in the shop, so getting my money's worth. But I so loved it. The only thing for me with eggs is I've always bought free range eggs. I was on a budget. Things that I preferred. The squash was 41p or dilute, some people call it. I really, really enjoyed it. The lasagna. You, you know how I feel about them lasagnas. I don't think I need to say anything else. The mayo. It tastes like typical chip shop mayonnaise. And then we move on to the holy grail this whole experiment, which is my smart price coffee. Oh, I've got it's getting cold. It's so good. It is so good. I've just had a thought. I'm gonna replace all the things in the food shop that I just couldn't stand because I'm interested to see how much it would come up to with substituting the things that I hated. 45 pounds and 92p, which is still an absolute steal considering I've just gotten rid of all the things that I couldn't stand. So overall for the week, the big question was, how much cheaper is it and is it actually worth it? If we're looking at the price being £45.92p compared to £113, that's a saving of 60%. So yeah, it's definitely worth it financially. I'm just blown away with the quality of Smart Price food and I encourage anyone to just give it a go. And if you do get a bit shy, just order online. If you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments what store you think I should go to and I will happily make that video if you want to save some money with me then consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one